in this video, I'll be showing you guys the easiest way to download eSign on your iPhone or iOS device from iOS 16 to 18. So the first thing you guys have to do is just open this website here. I'll leave a link down below. And basically this website will have the DNS and will actually have the eSign IP here too. So essentially all you guys need to do is, so you're just gonna click on any one of the DNSs here. So I'll just click the third one. You can click any one though, but I'm just gonna do the one that says iOS 18. You can click on that here. And then obviously you can just click on download here and then click allow and it'll say profile downloaded review the profile in the settings app so you can just open up your settings app now so you can just go into settings here and once you guys do open up your settings app you guys will see the downloaded profile here so just click on profile download here click on install enter in your passcode and then it will just get a little warning so just click on install install and then click on done here so now that that's been installed you have to now go back on the website here and so once you're back on that website what you guys have to do is just over here you're gonna scroll all the way until you guys see signer and click on it and then you guys will see a bunch of signed ip side loaders so you have e sign you guys can get scarlet as well g box feather any one of these so you guys obviously need the dns as well so make sure that you guys do have that but what you guys can do is just click on e-sign signed and so some of these might not work so you just have to keep constantly doing it so just click on any one of these here so click install and so just make sure that you just click on any one of these here it doesn't even have to be the one that i've clicked you can just click on any one of these over here and now basically what you guys have to do is if you click on the app, it'll say untrusted enterprise developer. So we're going to have to go back into settings and in VPN and device management, you'll see the enterprise app here, click on trust, and then you will have to restart. So I'll be back with the restart. And so once you guys have restarted, you can just click on the eSign app here and it'll crash the first time but if you click it again you'll see the service agreement so you can obviously just click agree and then just click agree and you'll be able to open up eSign here so before we actually get to side loading anything we're just gonna have to open up safari again and what we essentially have to do here is download the eSign certificate so just scroll all the way down and then you'll see the eSign certs so you're just gonna click on this click on download and then once it downloads you're gonna go back into eSign and you're just gonna click on the three dots at the top click on import and you're just gonna have to navigate to the downloads folder where your zip file will be so you can just click on the downloaded eSign certs here and so as you guys can see it is here now so you can just click on this cert click on unzip and you'll just see the eSign certs folder. And so if you guys open it up, you'll just essentially see a bunch of certificates here. And basically you just have to match it with whatever certificate you have for your eSign. So I had an AVEX Digital Inc. So if you guys go back into your settings, you can see where the actual folder is. So you can just go back into general and scroll down to VPN and device management and you guys will see whichever certificate that you guys have so i'm just gonna go back here and you're just gonna have to click on your certificate click on import certificate management it'll say imported successfully and now what you guys can do is just import your ipa and so basically just to import you just have to click here again click on import and then you're just gonna have to keep going and finding the IPA. So I have my IPA here. You can click on import. And so once you guys see it here, you're just gonna go to apps and then you'll see your unsigned app here. So you just have to click on the app here and click on signature. And then in more settings, which you guys should do, I would recommend you scroll all the way down and then turn on remove mobile provision after signing, click on signature. And then you'll just get this loading screen here. Click on install. 
click install here click install and it has been in fact installed so you're just gonna have to give it some time and as you guys can see i now have my ipa file here anyways i hope this video helped if it did please leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching